this week's ride, Captain Steep and I take on the famous World's End Trail, plus a little bit of sneaky stuff behind Nationwide in Swindon. This one was absolutely bonkers. The drone's at the wrong angle to actually show you how steep because the camera is pointing down. Now this is the World's End Trail. It's quite famous. I've seen it on lots of videos, but unfortunately our entire day went horribly wrong. We start by parking up a few miles away from a GPX loop that includes Lang Degla Trail Park. We've been told the conditions are bad and to be aware of it being boggy and that maybe summer's the right time of year to do this ride. But what do we know? We'll just go and do it anyway. The black. Oh my god, it's got some. The GPX that we have takes in the trail centre and it takes in all of the black, something I missed last time I rode here. So I'm really pleased to be smashing them out now and I can say they are fast. It's not often GoFro's very good at showing speed unless it's a pro rider but that looks quite fast. Pretty fast. My eyes are watering. I'm starting to have trouble seeing. Now up to this point, it's all going extremely well, or, or at least so we think. But the whole plan's about to start unraveling rather badly. That one. But hey, you've got to have a few bad rides just to know what the really good ones are. Like. bit of a low moment. If, uh, if I think this is crap, I'm sure Adam's not in the best of moods right now. Not really. Link lights. After the third one that's broken, I think we can safely say they're a pile of shit. So we've gone single speed, which is not too bad on any bike, but I don't know if that train will stay on or survive. Need to go and try and get it fixed. I'm probably about 5%. But I know this emergency mode, it don't last very long and then I'll have nothing. And uh, Next right. I'll be walking because my legs are too done. Oh my God. My feet are just disappearing into it. Jesus, that's deep. That literally went above my ankle. Well, at least by pushing, I'm saving the battery. I don't know, I need to see where the cliff is in relation to the car. We're doing that loop, So, if you haven't figured it out by now, we're kind of in a bit of trouble. Our batteries have gone flat, and we're a little bit lost, and have dramatically misjudged just how far it is back to the car. On top of that, conditions are shocking. It's so boggy. Anyone that owns an e-bike will know how hard it is to pedal uphill, but try doing it in bog as well. Well then trail. Should be called end of life trail, because if you wobble, you're dead. Quick treat to the bottom and then a quick trip to the wall. It's actually too windy to ride. Now this is the most famous section of the world's end trail and I've been looking forward to it for weeks. But this is no longer any fun at all. The wind is gusting to 40 miles an hour and I have no motor. So I can't get a decent speed to maintain stability. On top of that, the drone does not want to fly in this weather. Oh, that's bad. Oh, how much did I break? That was hard. Hey there. Yeah, I'm just going to let you know, it only gets windier as you turn that corner. <laughs> yeah, like a lot. <laughs> Thank you. 
So the wide angle lens is distorting the drop off the side of that trail, but you can tell by how people are stepping off and climbing up and leaning over. It's very steep. Gaining a bit of confidence. Insanely windy, quite frankly. It's just after what we come through, this don't feel that bad. It's a little bit sketchy without the wind, but like with the wind, that was probably sketchy coming down there. So I really don't recommend taking on the World's End Trail when it's windy or wet. It's going to be miserable and quite dangerous. This wind is actually hard even to walk into. Pretty nuts. So quite a lot's gone wrong. E-bikes are no fun pedalling a 27 kilo bike without any extra power. But nothing else could go wrong, could it? Really? I mean, I'm absolutely shattered at this point. You couldn't make this trip up. Well, I will be walking the rest of the way. Pedals off. A lot tighter the bug around that thing as well, but clearly not enough. Oh, that's right, I used the Temu Loctite on that one. Clearly that's a pile of shit. So that's the end of that monstrosity of a ride and Adam is going home with his broken bike. I've got something epic planned for the next day solo. What a fucking ride, mate. Broken bike, flat batteries. Nice view there. But today, I'm in a, well, I believe it's a secret spot to go and do a secret trail. My God, is it beautiful. Now, Adam had a lot of trouble yesterday as well as me. Fortunately, his bike wasn't fixable, mine was. So he's gone home. It's just me today. The only slightly worrying thing is, don't actually know where this trail goes and if there's a way out or if I have to come back up it which would be miserable so let's go check it out Captain Steep went home with his broken bike the day before, leaving me to ride Sunday on my own, which is a shame because I'm about to ride one of the steepest trails I've ever seen, and he absolutely loves that stuff. Moving through the past and the lies. Whispers in the small from the Now GoPros are pointing down and drones to really flatten things out but I can promise you that is bonkers steep. It's Next time I do this trail I'm going to reposition the drone side on which will give you a much better impression of how steep that is. With the drone camera pointing down, it flattens the terrain dramatically, making it look nowhere near as steep. The same thing happens with your onboard GoPro. I'm not lost, I'm not lost, I've seen the light, I've seen the light. I'm not lost, I'm not lost, I've seen the light, I've seen the light. So now we're all done with this weekend, I'm going to head for home, happy that I survived this one. The next video is a group ride at Hopton Forest and also Eastridge. It's going to be an absolute corker, so please just hit like and subscribe. It's free to you and helps me out enormously. Thanks in advance.
if you haven't worked it out already, my channel lives off liking and subscribing. That's the only thing that keeps me going. So please just hit subscribe and like right now. 